The Grudge 2 was a little scarier this time. I didn't really jump in either. I don't know. Either did my friend, I don't think. But if we were in a dark theater, we would have we would have got scared at least three times. Um, I thought the story was pretty good. I thought the the special effects with the Grudge girl is pretty cool. The when they touch a body that had been possessed was pretty cool. Um, the story was even better. Um. I think it's all around good series so far. I'm wondering what they did in the reboot. So that's coming in about three hours. Or two and a half, three hours. But anyway, I liked the fact that it was generation to the next story, to the same story. And I think the third one might tie everything together. I don't know if it did. I haven't seen the third one in a while. Or the series in a while, but I own it, so now we're watching it. So if it doesn't tie everything together, then should have made a should have made a fourth. But maybe didn't, I guess I don't think the third one made a lot of money. So I rated it five. I rated it four and a half stars this time out of five. I think the acting was phenomenal. I think that the the, the scary moments were higher quality. The jump scares were higher quality. If you want to get scared, I recommend you turning off all the lights in your house and watching this movie in the dark on Halloween or now, and you'll be scared at least a couple times. Um, so, yeah. That's my review on uh, Grudge 2, 2006 version.